Hey guys, this is Shane here from Echo Soundworks. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take a drum loop and turn it into a drum kit inside of Logic 10.5. So even if you're not a Logic user, this workflow pretty much applies to most DAWs. Now, Logic was probably one of the last ones to give their users this functionality. For instance, I do this all the time in Ableton. You drag in a drum loop, maybe you like a certain element or a couple pieces from it, but you wanna peel that away from the rest of the loop, the easiest way to do that is to turn it into a playable drum kit. Now this also, this technique also gives you the ability to turn any drum loop you have into a drum kit. So let's dive into Logic and get started. All right, so I'm working on this track. It's a pretty chill, relaxed vibe. And here's what we have without the main drum loop. And here's the drum loop that I pulled up from one of our packs. And I really like the kick and the clap, but I'm not a huge fan of just the overall vibe. It's a little bit too uh, predictable and that this offbeat hi-hat that you're gonna hear is a little bit too robotic. All right, so there's a little bit too much boots and hats for this track, but I like the kick and I like the clap. Now I'm going to just click on the loop and we're gonna drag and drop this over to the left-hand side of our track view here. And when you do this, you'll get a little drop down that says create new track using. Now I'm first going to select quick sampler original and you'll see why in a second. Now the reason why I said I like to go to quick sampler first is because I can go through and check all of the transients and make sure it's correct. For instance, this loop here has a couple double hits which I would not want for the next step. It'll screw up basically the ability to play that loop. So just go through and clean that up. Right? So we can take this a step further by converting it into a drum machine designer track, which is ultimately the goal because that's going to give us multi-output drum rack and it's going to give us really nice, uh, basically accessibility to the step sequencer in Logic. So we can do that by right-clicking and create drum machine designer track. Now an added bonus to doing this is you get the MIDI pattern as well. All right, again, Logic does all the heavy lifting and now our drum loop is in a drum machine designer format. Now I know all the transients are going to be right on point because I went through in the last step and checked. Right, now here's why I like going to the drum machine designer. It gives you the MIDI region for that track. So if you're chopping up a drum loop and you're trying to change it maybe more than five beats per minute either way, this is the best way to speed up or slow down a drum loop, the slice transient detection essentially. So check this out. We're at 100 beats per minute. I'm going to crank my tempo up to 124, like a proper house tempo. And now we're going to check out that drum loop. Right, because it's been sliced at the transient, there's no stretching and, and smushing of the audio making it alias, right? So it's a really efficient way to change a drum loop quite drastically in terms of BPM. But we don't really want that here. We're gonna delete that. We want to create our own pattern. So I can right click here and we can do create pattern region. And now I have access to the step sequencer, right? All right, so here's the basic kick and clap pattern. Now I can go through and pencil in the hi-hats where I want, and I want them every other time essentially. This is all together with the other drum sounds from the beginning of the video. All right, guys, that's going to sum up the video. If you guys have any questions or comments, post those below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, you know the drill. Hit the subscribe button. If you do, consider hitting the notification bell so you get an update when we release new videos, free content, and new packs. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.